in Logansport, Indiana. And we're here at the waterfalls, which is gorgeous. We brought our dogs, but you can't see them because they're not cooperating. But if you ever get a chance to come down here, they've got primitive sites. Gosh, babies. They've got primitive sites, they've got electric sites, and we're still exploring this park. So we'll let you know more as we find out. Bye. So this is number two for us here at France Park and we are down by the beach. It's got beautiful water. It's at an old quarry and uh, I'll show you a few pictures here shortly. Enjoy! Hi, I'm off camera right now but here are some of the scuba divers that are going to be swimming in the lake today. Uh, they are just beginning to test out their equipment and they're probably ready to uh, go underwater there. We'll take a few minutes and see what's happening with them. Looks like a couple of them are getting ready to go down. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. Hi. So as I understand it, there are huge sturgeon here in this particular lake where the quarry is located. There is swimming, and I guess you can swim with the sturgeon. But there's also kayaking that can be done here, as well as scuba diving. When the scuba divers are here, it's my understanding that there are no kayaking at while the scuba divers are in the water. But... Sturgeon are kind of scary fish, and they're huge from what I understand, and you ain't catching this girl in there. How about you? No. <laughs> Not happening. See you in a bit. Hi again, this is Sherry with Island Time, and we are at the top of the quarry. Well, not completely the top, but we are above the quarry, and the shot that you're seeing right now is of some scuba divers that came up from underneath the water. And over here, where I am panning, if you can see them, there are some bubbles coming up. There, there it is. 
and uh, there are some scuba divers there too. We're above the beach, which is way over here. And actually, I'm just panning the lake so you can see the lake. There's the scuba divers that we just went from out of, out of frame there. There's a portion of the beach over here. And now we're coming into the swimming area. The concession stands are in the background and the beach. So there's a lot of people here at the beach today. They all look like they're in their little groups and they look like they're social distancing, which is really good. It is a beautiful place. The hiking trails are not too bad right now. Oh, there's some more bubbles of more scuba divers right there. About the middle of the screen there. We haven't done a lot of hiking here. We did a little bit. We did a little bit to come up here, and somebody just jumped off of the cliffs. Which there is no cliff diving here, or you will get kicked out of the park. But overall, this is gorgeous. I have to apologize for the location of the sun because uh, we're just coming into where the sun is located. There are some more bubbles right there. Somebody just popped up from underneath. And this is this is the lake by the quarry. There's there's the quarry cliffs all along over there. The water is a beautiful aqua color. I don't see any sturgeon. I thought maybe we could see some sturgeon from up here, but I don't see any sturgeon and no, I'm not getting any closer to that cliff side. But it looks like a really fun place. There's lots and lots and lots of trails that you can go hiking along. There's good places for kayaking. If you're into kayaking, bring your kayak. There's fishing spots, the beach, And it's really, it really looks like a nice spot. All right, catch you in a bit. Hi everybody, it's Sherry and Mike from Island Time. And we just hiked to this location in the quarry or on top of the quarry. I'm gonna show you what it looks like down below. Be right back. So this is our view from where we are now sitting at the top of the quarry. It is gorgeous. I hope that this video does justice to the beauty of this area. It is really, really nice. The water is, again, a beautiful aqua color. On the hike here, there was a, a, a more difficult area. I am happy to say that I made it, but right where this tree is at, maybe directly below, there's a little alcove over there, and there was a scuba diver who came up, and he said he saw a, what appeared to be a five foot catfish. Five foot catfish. If you like catfish, that's good eats, ain't it? Anyways, coming back over here, that is the beach in the middle of the screen with the concession stand off to the left. You can see the quarry walls as I pan over right. And where you can't see the quarry wa walls, where all this greenery is at about the middle of the frame, that was the difficult part. I have to give myself kudos. I did this. I don't like heights. Um, I also have a bad knee, so it makes it going up steep inclines and stairs kind of difficult. But I made it this far, and I am so happy I did. Look how beautiful it is. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hi, everybody. This is Sherry again. What you're looking at is 
the foundation post for the zip line. This is all the zip line here. There is the little dock that you take off from. And it is closed, I don't know why, but it looks like it would be a lot of fun zip lining over the lake. The little brown area, it looks like there's a, um, next to the concession stand, it's right about in the middle of the screen now. That's where you will end up if you, this was open and people were zip lining. That would be way too cool. Anyway, thought I'd show you this. See you in a bit. So hi everybody. This is what the top of the uh, quarry looks like. The footing and whatnot, the, the ground. And there's a lot of slate. It's best to have hiking boots if you got them. Otherwise, tennis shoes will work too. But my feet are coming out of my tennis shoes, so kind of different. Um, over, over the edge here is another part of the quarry that you don't see in the earlier vids that I've taken. But it goes back and it ends right around in there. It is so pretty. Very, very pretty. Anyway, thought I'd show you what the top looks like. See you in a bit. Stop pulling. Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Island Time again, and we came up, or off, from, if you can see those people, from up there. It was rather interesting, um, a little on the unexpected side, but I made it. Now this is where the uh, lake rounds the bend. Part of it that you couldn't see in the previous videos and the one I was trying to show from up top. Again, this is beautiful and right now it's nice and cool. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Hi everybody. So we're along the path that we've been trekking along. Came across this tree that's broken in half. Don't know if it was felled by wind. I doubt that it was felled by lightning. But that old saying comes to mind. If a tree falls in the forest, is there anyone here to hear it? But for some odd reason, I had to show it to y'all. Along our little trek. And we're going up that. See you in a bit. This is part of the trail after the uh, high point of the quarry. Um, this just looks cool coming through here.
another bench up here. just came up. It's two flights with a bench on that platform down below and then these set of stairs and there's little Izzy and there's another bench that you can rest on when you get up to the top. That's the rest of the trail going up. So we're going to take a little bit of a break here and then we will continue hiking back to our vehicle. What's really nice is you can hear the cicadas singing in the treetops. On occasion you can hear a bird, but overall it's beautiful and it's peaceful. See you in a bit. So hi everybody. We are showing you a map of, and it's only a partial map, of France Park here in Brown County. Um, we came in, this is the back end of the campground, and as I pan down, the brown, if you caught the uh, legend at the top, is hiking trails, the white is road trails, and just to show you, we came in here at the gatehouse, we came down around here, and then we accidentally somehow or other ended up getting down around in here. And then we came back and we went to the waterfall and it was very pretty. Um, you'll see more pictures of the waterfall in a bit. Then we drove to the beach area up here. We took a little bit of, of, a, of a break at the concession stand. We watched people swimming along the beach and we saw people up along in this area here. So we decided we wanted to see what was where. So we parked somewhere along in here. We came back around and we parked in here. And we started to um, walk along a, what looked to be a trail that's not even marked. And we ended up way over here and... Actually, we were kind of around over in here, this area here. Yeah, we, start, we, we were there as well. Um, sorry about the, the little shake in here. Got a little crease. But we, we um, kind of went up, all, up, up, all up along in here, down through here, down through this little cove. And then I think we went this way down yeah, by the road. we did. We did. We went that way and then we got down here and it was like, well, which way do we go? We didn't know if we were on the right trails because we didn't bring the map with us. So that was uh, definitely an oversight on our part. So we decided to turn around and come back the other way. We took a little bit different route. Um, instead of going up the steep hill, we decided to go up the stairs. A little bit easier for, for Sherry to uh, make sure that, uh, you know, last thing you want to do is you, want to, you don't want to get injured on the trail. And the stairs made it so much easier for us. So that's the way we went. So again, this is a copy, or at least we're showing you the map of France Park. And again, if you have a chance to get here, you've got to come and visit. It is beautiful and uh, lots of things to do already. Yeah, and we're going to have to come back a little bit later and do some more extensive hiking in this area because these trails are quite long. So there's lots to still see for us. Uh, so hope you uh, find this uh, video enticing for you and that you'll actually make a visit as well. And the next time we're out here, we'll let you know how the hiking goes. All right, so that's it for us. See you later. 
So hi everybody, this is Sherry again, and Mike, and we made it back to the Jeep. Um, the dogs are getting some water now, and they're getting cooled down. It was a really good hike, um, considering I have a weak leg or a weak knee. Um, if you're wondering what happened a few years back, I broke my leg. I have a rod in the tibia and a plate next to the fibia. I have an office job where I'm sitting down all day long. This is the first time I've really been out to do any hiking. It was challenging, but she it was... good. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> but it was well worth it. Um, Mike and I are not as young as you think we are, but we did it. And if you take your time, you guys can do it too. What a beautiful, what a beautiful park. What a beautiful outlook over the quarry. You've got to come and see it if you get the chance. Yeah, highly recommend this for you guys that are hikers. Uh, there's some challenging areas. There's some ch areas that uh, for people that don't like challenges uh, as much, but there's still a lot of beauty and a lot of interesting things to look at along the way. Um, if you come here, uh, I hope you have a great time. The, we hope you like it. So again, if you like us, click that like button down at the bottom. And we'll don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> it would really help us out to get more videos off to you guys. Anyways, this is our day. Have a wonderful day. And this is Island Time, signing off. Bye.